You're about to watch a Trains Newswire video. If you enjoy what you see, consider looking at some of our other full-length videos. Chicago, America's railroad capital, 20th Century Limited, and a new collection of top quality documentaries from producer Rich Luckin. All of these and more are available on our website, KalmbachHobbyStore.com. All right, let's talk about this Steve Sweeney guy, who should be right here next to me. But he says he's doing something else that's very important. So let's just you and I talk about railroads, okay? So this week, the uh, carloads that uh, the Association of American Railroads uh, reports was down, which is bucking a trend, which is not good. We, you know, we like for carloads to go up, and you know me, I love the metrics of, of railroading. I love to see that stuff. So that was off, and that was, that was not good. So let's, let's hope that things pop back up next week. So there's that. Jim, I got it. This just in. And up oh, here he comes. He finally got here, you guys. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I, got it. I, was, just, I was just telling him about the, rolling, right? the AAR carloads, and they're down. Okay. And, and um, so anyway, yeah, yeah, you can you can jump right in here now. Okay. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you kept my spot warm for me. So what we just published right now, yes. what, we, what we just published right now, Trains Nation, is a video that got posted on the 20th. So today's the 22nd. It was Wednesday, mm -hmm. of a drone pilot. Uh, it appears to be outside of Reno, Nevada. A drone pilot is flying over a Union Pacific train. He's flying over it. He's flying through a truss bridge. He's flying under the train. Yes, under the train while the train is moving. He flies into a box isn't, car. He's flying that, between cars. Isn't most of that illegal? Uh, or, or at least uh, immoral? Uh, well, look, if he's a licensed pilot, yes, very illegal. He'll get his license revoked and oh, maybe spend, spend some time in the pokey. Mm. Not in Virginia, in the jail. Um, oh, dear. But, you know, because he could be just a hobbyist mm. who's really experienced at this, you know, it, we're looking into it. So we got a wow. statement from the FAA. FAA looked at it right now in Washington, D.C. within the past 45 minutes. We're looking for a comment from Union Pacific and we're looking for something from FRA. We, we know that these videos happen, but this is the first one that I've seen that's just so brazen. The guy, wow. even, the guy even buzzed the uh, locomotive engineer. Wow. And the conductor. That's, I was like, that's pretty what? crazy. So see the video, see the story that we have. We'll be updating this throughout the day, and we're going to be looking for more comment this week and next week on Newswire. So, well, good morning or good afternoon, Trains Nation, depending on what, what time you're watching this video. Mm -hmm. I'm Jim Wren, Steve Sweeney. So we got that and a lot of other news. Like I said, I covered the AAR stats I'm this morning. You, you talked about that. Uh, two of our guys were at uh, Railway Interchange, the big North American trade show this past week mm -hmm. in Indianapolis. Be sure and check out. They have a couple of really good reports. One, a video tour of the mm -hmm. show. And the other one is a uh, tech highlights, which yes. I think you're picking up and putting yeah. in our next technology column in the December issue. Absolutely. We'll have that in the December issue. We've got some great photos from there and also describing what it is these companies are doing to try and make railroading better. It's hard to do, but they are achieving it. One of my favorite stories this week, and probably yours too, Steve, yes. and I know a lot of other people out there, the Japanese have introduced a cat cafe train, which is the beautiful marriage of cats, cafes, and railroading. And yeah. as a cat lover, you know, I'm, I'm pretty into this. Another reason to go to visit Japan. Yes, absolutely. And it's, it's one of those things that if they did that in the States, I think they would, I think tourist lines would get a lot of money fast. <laughs> I, I could see this catching on. I, I have be, no doubt. It'd be, it'd, it'd be really fun. It'd be really fun to do. A couple of, couple of other things this week. Uh, traffic is resuming in Florida. Uh, Amtrak's mm -hmm. back, SunRail, TriRail, all the commuter agencies are getting back to normal. So uh, uh, glad, to, glad to see that. Uh, one more item in the bad behaviors uh, uh -oh. area. Uh, and not mine. Not yours, okay. not mine, thank God. Uh, there was a gentleman down in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, who got arrested this week for broadcasting on railroad frequencies, which is a no-no. Don't yeah, do that. Don't do that. Um, he, he's got house arrest right now. He's got a house arrest right now, but I imagine he's in a lot of trouble, too, yeah. with uh, various people. But, uh, no, that is that is definitely the wrong thing to do. Yeah, do not do that. Do not yeah. do that. Did you, did you talk about, did, to, to our readers and viewers, did you talk about the uh, Bill Stevens report? I have not coal? yet. I have not yet. 
Yeah, so, so Bill Stevens, a uh, longtime contributor for the magazine, has got a new report out on coal traffic. And throughout 2017, it looks like railroads have been getting more and more coal traffic, bituminous and subbituminous coal. But analysts he's talked to say it's just sort of like it's a mini bounce. 2016 was the worst year in 30 years that it goes up. It only had uh, room to go up, and mm -hmm. that's it. So read the whole story on that. I don't think I gave away the whole thing. There's, there's a lot of interesting uh, nuances and insights about imports and exports and just exactly where coal is going to be used in the uh, coming years and months. Bill Stevens also had another report this week, which I thought was kind of cool, and I got to use one of my photos in it on intermodal. Did you see this one? I did. Trailers on flat cars are coming back. I know. Isn't that cool? And specifically 28-foot awesome. trailers. Isn't that like the weirdest That's the weirdest thing. Why 28? What's, what? what's the oh, I, magic number for that? You know, well, we're trying to get more information. On it. Prepare, apparently, 28-foot trailers are ideal for e-commerce retailers. Hmm. Like, take it from the intermodal terminal and just shoot it out to whatever, wherever your warehouse is or wherever your distribution center is, like, a, like an Amazon or a Walmart or a UPS or something like that, and just pack it and send it, and there it goes. Wow. So 28-foot, rather than unstuffing a big 53-foot container. I can see that. A more manageable size. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Makes sense. Not, not as efficient, you know, to transport, but, right. but it's faster. Good stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty good. So we got lots of good stuff. I didn't even write anything down. I was rushing over here so fast. Nice. But uh, we got plenty I of stuff. I told him you were on the way. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you interrupted it. It's um, okay. Uh, but it all works out in the end. We've got plenty of stories on Newswire. We've got videos on Newswire this week. We're going to have uh, more updates on steam locomotives. I just saw some photos come in about a narrow gauge steamer. Yep, the uh, Slim Princess is back. Princess, Southern Pacific. So we've got a feature some. story about that in mm -hmm. our November issue. But uh, you can see some live reporting. It's so uh, it's live this weekend. Yes, absolutely. So all that and more on Newswire for everyone at trains. Um, yeah, the, yes, oh, for everyone got, at trains. And uh, if you're in the Cleveland area, be sure and go by and see Nickel Plate 765 running on the Cuyahoga Valley. Really pretty down through the National Park. We'll be sure and check it out. That'll be nice. Our best to our friends there on uh, 765 for a safe and uh, memorable weekend. Absolutely. For everyone at trains, enjoy the weekend.